Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show how to add multiple columns to the list box by using VBA macros. Here, we can find different tabs. This tab consists of 4 columns and 11 rows. This tab consists of 11 columns and 41 rows. This tab consists of single column and 11 rows. This one single column and 4 rows of data. And 4 rows. This one 2 columns and 11 rows of data. Already I created a user form which consists of a list box and 2 command buttons. First, let me execute the program. First, I am going to insert the data which consists of 4 columns. Click on 4 columns button. Here we can find data exists in the tab added to the list box along with 2 command buttons. Now, I am selecting the data to copy into worksheet. Click on copy. Let us cross check the output tab. Here we can find the output. Data imported from the user form to Excel worksheet. Now I am going to export the data which consists of 11 columns. I am selecting the required data. Click on copy button. Cross-check the output tab. Here we can find all the 11 columns copied into the worksheet. Likewise, this template is very useful to export the data into the list box irrespective of the number of columns. Let me export single column. Two columns. Three rows. Now let us cross check the coding part. Click on Visual Basic. First, I declared a variable which is named as SHT and object data type is worksheet. Thereafter, set SHT equivalent to active workbook dot sheets of four columns. This is the tab name. Thereafter, I am activating the worksheet. Next, I am finding columns count by using current region property of range object. Next, I am finding the last row by using end excel down property of range object. Next, I am retrieving the range address. Here, I created a function which is named as format user form. This function consists of two functional arguments, columns count and range address. Now I move to that function. This is the function name. In that function, first I define the measurements of user form. First one is minimum height equivalent to 400 points means irrespective of the rows count user form height should not be less than 400. Next, max height equal to 450. Min width equal to 400. Max width equal to 700. You can change these measurements based on your requirement. This one is for list box. List box minimum width equal to 110. List box max width equal to 600. Next, I calculated the user form width by considering the columns count. I assigned 110 points for each and every column. So, multiplied the columns count with 1110. So, here I am restricting the user form width. Here I am maintaining minimum width of user form. 
next here I am defining the height of the user form I am considering the height based on the number of rows which exists in the worksheet for each and every row I assigned 18 points so I multiplied with 18 thereafter to the retrieved result I am adding 200 to place the command buttons these two if conditions represents to min and max height of the user form next I am formatting the user form with user form 1 this one is for width height back color border color border style caption next I am formatting the list box this is for left top coming to list box height I am deducting 200 points from the height of the user form coming to width I assigned 110 points for each and every column in list box these two represents two min and max values for the list box this is for width and here I am mentioning the columns count if the data consists of the heads user has to mention true this is for column bits of list box for each and every column I considered 90 points this one is for row source here I mentioned the range address this one is for list style next I mentioned the font size font color font name back color text alignment next I am formatting the command button 1 back color four color font size font name visible here I am calculating the remaining space from the user form height I am deducting 15 points which I left for list box and list box height and command button height next I am retrieving the half of remaining place this top property denotes position of the command button from the top so 15 plus list box height plus half remaining space this one is for left in the same way I formatted the command button too after that I am using show method of user form all these are useful to nullify the variables so this is the code to copy the selected data from the list box to worksheet hope this template is useful to everyone thanks for watching